we're ready to finish our last square. So I'm going to use my little hand by holding down the uh, space bar and go to the rectangle tool and alt click and so I get the dialog box up and make it four inches by in four inches and click on OK and I'm going to drag this over to my artboard. And you can see it's a little over but don't worry about it. So the first thing we're going to do is make the sky. So we're going to go to the eraser tool and go to the knife tool. Now remember if you're cutting something you want to cut it all the way through. You don't start here in the middle of the object. You start at the edge and you finish over the edge. So you start before the edge and finish after the edge. So I'm just going to go like this and kind of draw a line like that. And believe it or not, this is now two pieces. And I will deselect it and come here to my group selection tool and select this top here and look. There it is. So I'm going to make it a dark sky. Okay. Now the next thing I'm going to do is make a house. So I'll go back to the rectangle tool and I, I think I will make my house this color and make a rectangle. Oh, I still have snap to grid on and it wants to make a square and snap to point on. I'm going to take that off too. It's good when you need it but when you don't it will hold you back. Okay so there we have our square for our house and I will make the roof and I'll go to the polygon tool and I'll make a polygon but I will remove some of the sizes with my arrow key and just hit it and make it like that and hold down my shift key so it's straight and I'll put the roof on here. Oh, it could be a little wider so I'll just take it and make it a little wider there and I can come to the top here when I get the double arrow push it down a little bit. Oh, pretty good. There. Alright. And the next thing I'll do is make the chimney. There we go. Alright, and we'll make a door. Now let's see, what color shall I make the door? Oh, I think I will make it this color here. Because that's kind of citron color. So I'm trying to stay in the palette. And there we go. Alright, there's the door. And I have to make a walk now. Now you can go to the pen tool. And remember we click and drag to make a curve. And we click here. To make a straight line and click here and do your best to do this and finish off. And I can see that I'm off a little bit there. You see that? So I'm just going to use my arrow key to bring it down. There we go. Control zero. Now we need some trees. So uh, I can use a triangle or you can use um, an ellipse too. So I'll make the trees kind of this light color here. And I will, you know what, I think I will go and uh, make the trees this darker color here, the 
I'll do the trunk first and then put the tree on top of it. So I'll make my little trunk here. And then I'm going to go to the ellipse tool and put that on top of it. But I'm going to make this this lighter green. Okay. And I'll select these both by holding down my shift key and I could group them at this time, go to Object and Group, and just make a few trees here. It doesn't have to look like my picture. There we go. So we have our trees. I think I like this. Maybe move it over here a little bit. Okay. So there we have our trees. Now we have to make our moon. And how we do that is I'm going to go to my yellow here and go to my ellipse tool and hold down my shift key to make a perfect circle. It's not too big. And then go to the selection tool and duplicate it so that it's overlapping. See how these are overlapping? And I will select them both and come here to the Pathfinder and where it says minus front. I'm going to do that. And there is my moon. And we want some smoke coming out of the chimney. And so I think I'll leave the yellow on. I do believe, oh, I did use this color, right? So I'll use that color. And I'm going to go to my brush and just go like that with my brush. Okay, so now we have the whole piece, and we just have to finish it. So that'll be the next video.